Hi, everybody. For most people who live in the high-priced home states that offer strong jobs and population growth, being a homeowner in those areas is a great choice because home price increase due to the demand for housing. Read to the end and you will find the answer why I lost a 2 million possible gain to my net worth and how the next homeowner who purchased my previous primary home gained $2 million. If you are new here, this channel is about investing in cash flow real estate, growing your wealth and achieve your financial independence. My name is Koi Ann and I achieved my financial independence when I was 35 through cash flow rental properties after consistently investing in cash flow properties over 8 years. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to subscribe so you will not miss my future content. Here are the few key benefits for being a homeowner based on my own two decades of experience as a homeowner and as an investor. Five key benefits of being a homeowner. The number one is the American dream. The house is my home, so I get to do whatever I want with it. For example, I can change the paint of the color of the house without having to ask the landlord for their approval. I can choose the best city to raise my children so they will enjoy the best school district, where they will receive a good foundation from their education. Number two is a peace of mind. Being a homeowner leads a peace of mind with stable and predictable housing costs. I can lock in a 30-year fixed mortgage and know my mortgage payment is constant as long as I am living there. I like to plan for my current and ultimately my future finance. When I know my actual housing expense, it makes this process much easier. Housing cost takes up roughly 20 to 30 percent of overall income. So knowing its constants allows me to plan for the future better. Number three is tax deductions. I can deduct my interest mortgage payment for my taxable income, ultimately reducing my taxes. Number four is bill equity. When I make a mortgage payment, there is a portion that will pay down the loan balance. In turn, the longer I stay in the home, the more equity I have in that house. Number five is capture property appreciation. When you live in your home over a long period of time, you will also gain equity from the appreciation. You can expect the average appreciation to be 2 to 3% in the normalized market. What we are experiencing right now is different than other past years and appreciation is roughly double what it usually is. Of course, I would take the 5% increase in the property value anytime. Who wouldn't? Now let's talk about my old primary home. We bought this home for $1.2 million in 2001 and sold it for $1.5 million in 2005. My husband and I gained about 200000 from this home and did not pay the capital gain for it because as a joint home ownership, we can have up to 500000 capital gain in our primary home without paying the capital gain tax. We visited California a few years ago and took our older son who lived the first two years of his life there to see our old home again. As of today, the property value is about $3.4 million. It's wonderful that the current homeowner gained $2 million just by living there for 16 years. Looking back now, I wish I did not sell it. A $2 million gain over 16 years, that is $125,000 per year added to their net worth for 16 years straight. They add six figures to their net worth each year just being a homeowner on top of other homeowner benefits that I shared earlier. I'm sure that they also pay for some expenditures during this year, like replacing the new roof, new flooring, and remodeling the kitchen and bathrooms. 
So let's say they spend about 200,000 total for all these items. In the end, as of today, they still gain 1.8 million. As you can see, it's not too bad to be a homeowner. Plus, you can add seven figures to your net worth. Why does this city have such a high price as home? Probably you want to know. Here are a few of the main reasons for it. The reason number one is this city has very strong job and population growth. This city attracts highly paid professionals. And for this zip code specifically, the median income in this range is $180,000 per year. The median home price in this area is $1 million. And reason number two is this home has one of the best school districts rating in Northern California. Most high income professionals like to send their children to the highest rated school. This high school won a lot of rewards, a war in California. And I remember this because I researched school ratings when we moved so our children could go to the best school district. This city is Cupertino, California. Apple's headquarters are located here. And this city is just a short drive to many other high-tech companies. High-tech careers pay pretty well. And this neighborhood area attracts high-paid professionals. So if you enjoyed this content so far, then support us by clicking the thumb up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. Here are the few main points that you can take away from these videos. The city that you choose to invest in should have some key factors here. Number one is steady job and population growth. Make sure the median income will support the rental price that you offer. Second is decent school rating. If you want to serve tenants who prefer a good school rating for their children, then select the area that offers it. Number three is healthy and diverse companies within 30 minutes drive from that property. This helps to reduce the property vacancy rate because once the tenant move out, you would have other professional tenants move in. Number four is low crime rate area. Most good tenants are attracted to the safe environment for their families. When the property increase in or decline in value due to, to the economic environments, the area should hold its value well and bounce back faster than the less desirable areas. Number five is have time in the market. Do not time the market. Remember that it takes some time to build wealth with real estate. It took 20 years for this property to double its values. Real estate is local. Some areas can and will be better than others. You need to spend time doing some research about the area that you like to buy so you can make informed decisions. And if you are the homeowner already, share your thought below as well as your experience as a homeowner. We all want to hear from you. I hope that maybe you have gained as much as 2 million on your primary home just like this homeowner. Ciao!